collections. It's Crayola crayons. I have hundreds of different boxes of Crayola crayons going back to their very earliest boxes. This is just a sampling of them. And I want people to give me some feedback. They want to see a, like a big review showing the history of Crayola. The earliest Crayola crayons, well actually these aren't even the earliest ones. These are later. These are from the teens and the 20s. They're often known as Rubens crayons. They were drawing crayons for real professional artists. And they really haven't changed much since then. As a matter of fact, the Rubens name stayed on these boxes almost up to World War II. This is one of the very earliest boxes in a more traditional package of Crayola crayons. This is the one whenever Crayola makes like this collector's colors pack. They always use this pattern. These are all original Crayola boxes. None of these are replicas except that one you just saw in my hand. I have them right up to modern times. I have unusual packages. I have them in about every way they've ever come. Wait, wait, wait. You see that says special effects crayon? I gotta tell you, every year you always hear about Crayola discontinuing colors. Oh my gosh, Crayola's gonna discontinue a color. And it's like national news and, and you know the, the news anchors on the biggest news shows wring their hands and say, oh my gosh, they're going to discontinue orange, yellow, and raw umber and maize. Oh no. Well, I can tell you something. Crayola has discontinued hundreds of colors throughout the 90s and 2000s. To my, not much fanfare at all. Mostly these unusual sets like My World Colors, Pearl Brights, which were some of the very prettiest Crayola crayons ever made in the 90s, Metallic Effects, color mix-ups. There was three colors in every crayon and swirls. Here's another silver swirls one. Each one of these was a unique color with unique names. When these were discontinued, nobody cried or wringed their hands or flailed on the floor about them. Um, look at this. Washington, D.C. Crayola crayons. Look, the colors of Baltimore Crayola crayons. They even made Ford Motor Company crayons, the colors of their cars. What about these old holiday crayons, probably from the 90s? Look, one pine and one holiday potpourri scented crayon inside. I love these techno brights. These really were the brightest Crayola crayons, late 1990s. Crayola even made these special crayons to give away as awards. The True Blue Hero crayons. They were magnificent. And why do I recommend people to collect Crayola crayons, sorry about this glare, their boxes are so nice and shiny, is the most wonderful relief for depression is to get a box of Crayola crayons of any size, open them up and leave them in your desk drawer at work. And you're having a bad day, you open that drawer and you smell those Crayola crayons. Crayola crayons have that one-of-a-kind, wonderful smell that you can't find any place else in the world. And I guarantee that's a, that's a really nice cure for depression in my book. And they made all kinds of cool Crayola things, such as the Crayola crayons calculator. If you'd like to c collect old Crayola crayons, these are not expensive on eBay. Five bucks, three bucks, you could buy all these rare old boxes. Even the original ones don't go for that much on eBay. Ten bucks, twelve bucks. And one of the easiest things to collect are these collectible tins on eBay. They made them for over 20 years, and in each one is an original 64-count box from that year. So you could literally collect like 20 years' worth of Crayola Crayon 64-count boxes. And most of these go for 99 cents to six dollars. I mean, they sold lots of them, and they don't go for much on eBay. And it's great to get these special edition ones, like the 100th anniversary box of Benny Smith Crayola crayons with a hundred different colors inside. Just wonderful. You know, all these limited edition boxes can all be had on eBay going, going back years for not that much cash. And as a special bonus, if you sat through this entire review, I'm going to show you the coolest box of Crayola crayons I have. And it's right down here. There is a real U.S. quarter show how tiny they are. These are real crayons made by Benny Smith Company. And at the time, they had the mistaken belief that if a child was small like a baby, they needed little tiny crayons for little tiny hands. And inside are little tiny crayons. This is probably one of the few surviving sets 
of some of the very earliest crayons made by the Benny Smith Company in existence. There probably are a handful left in existence. So what do you think? Do you think I should make a great big video about the history of this company? I have about 750 different boxes of Crayola crayons. Um, Crayola is owned by the Hallmark Company, and in my opinion, the Crayola Corporation is one of the finest U.S. companies in the world. Um, what's your opinion? Should I make an... Hello viewers, today we are going to make ice cream sundae with Play-Doh Sweet Shoppy molds. And these are what we are going to use. We took the molds from this playset and this playset as well. So sit tight. And we are going to use vanilla for this ice cream. And we are going to use white color Play-Doh for this ice cream. Keep watching. Oh, it looks really cool, huh? And swirl it more. And we're gonna make a strawberry from this mold. We're using two colors for this red and green. Look at how beautiful it looks. And we're gonna use a star candy. And that's how it looks. And a piece of orange from this mold. And here you can see orange color. So we got orange, star candy, and strawberry. And for this cup, we're going to use this big spoon. And what we're doing, we're just pressing the white little. And if it goes up, that's totally okay. That will make it look more realistic. There you, can, there you go. Put it right just like that. Then you can make some sprinkle by spinning like this and you flatten them. Look. How do you guys like the birds chirping? Time to put some sprinkles. Look how cute they look. There you go, these are really big sprinkles, but they look awesome. Alright, look at this, how awesome it looks. Okay, let's make a big scoop. And rotate it, it should come out. And we did it for this. Look at that, how awesome it looks. Time to put some sprinkles. And a couple of white sprinkles. These are big, huh? Here you can see how they look. All right, let's make more. Here goes some strawberry color Play-Doh swirl. And make the swirl just like that. Here I'm gonna use this mold with aquamarine and this is how it came. And let me take the extra part off. And that's how it looks after you take the extra part. And here you can see whatever we have made so far. And another blue is sticking out right here. And here you can see we took aquamarine play-doh. And what we're doing, we're just making a realistic looking scoop and look how it came. We just press it and this is how it will show what we're going to do. We're going to try to make a sundae here and just put it like that. That's a big scoop. And here you can easily make some long thread by just spinning it. Just like that. And I'm using Play-Doh Plus. And you just keep rotating them. Keep swirling them like that. This is how they turn. Here you can see. And I'm going to just put them on the top. 
on the top look how it looks these are very bright vibrant color and look how they look and we're gonna put some more colors here and we made a huge white print let's see how much we need and we're gonna put that on the top this is how you just make a circle shape by just twirling and you press it so it doesn't come off and look how it looks you just put them right here on the top and you press it look how it looks and look how it looks and this one right here it looks a little different you just press it with your fingers and that's how it will come look at the top one here you can see we just put a couple balls here with later and that's how it looks so so far we made this and the last thing we're gonna make is another sundae and for the last one we took some strawberry color play-doh and just make sure it come it uh, it's not upside down like that next we're gonna do some white and this is a play-doh plus very sensitive very soft and the last one is hot pink and this is gonna be our last one we just put it right there all right this is how it looks and let me just put the sprinkle and we got some sprinkle look at that and we got some brown color sprinkle as well look at that uh, throwing them was not a good idea but sticking them is that's how they got together here and look this is what we made to so far all right viewers this is how they look leave a comment how did you guys like it and what is your favorite